All right, guys, I'm going to walk through a little bit of how we do our uh, quick belly. So kind of talk about we're a little different than everybody else. Uh, our belly for us is not really like a wing T kind of belly. That's a similar idea, uh, but we run it more like a power type insert play. So call it whatever you want to. We just refer to it as our quick belly. It's my contact information. If you got questions, you know, after this and, and want to get back to it. So for us, I've done a lot of these deals where we talk about like our jet game and our jet motion, uh, where you could run power read type stuff off of this too. Uh, however, I want to talk today just about this being kind of standalone play, like I think it was designed to be. Of course, you can easily marry this up with motions. Uh, you're going to see as I talk today about with formations, you can marry it up with a lot of different things to really make it pop. But this Today, we're just going to talk about the way to make the play work on its own as kind of, a, like I said, a standalone play. So for us, we have basic rules when we run uh, belly to the strong side or quick belly to the, the quick side. And again, like I mentioned, don't get worried about, well, this is not the way we heard belly. It could be whatever you want to name it. Uh, this is just how we designed this specific play. So for us, we work play side over. So from the play side, our tackle is going to lock on to uh, number two, whoever's over there, and going to base him out. We would prefer to base him out if we had a five technique. If we have a four technique, he can take him either way. So this play could hit uh, B gap, as you're seeing drawn here. <clears throat> it could hit C gap if you were to wash that guy down. Or we could be in an under front, or potentially we had a, a three technique and a five technique. So if we had a guy here and a guy here, it may actually hit A gap. So this play can hit A gap, B gap, or C gap. Uh, so our guard that wraps and our inserting running back, if we're going to run the insert with it, are going to be looking at it could hit any gap. So just realize they don't always have to hit as drawn up here. Our quick guard is going to have number one to the play side, which in this situation would be a nose. So we count anyone from head up to center over as number one on the first level. So theoretically, he could block down on a one like you're seeing here. We could get a double team with a head up nose potentially, or he could block out on a three technique if there was not a not an A gap threat player. Our center has what we call on backside, although in this specific front, we would probably block him back, but his base rule would be on backside, so he could take you know anyone who's in either a gap or head up him, or in this drawing we're working what we call like a back call, where the guard can handle this guy by himself, send the center backside. Our backside players, which could be a tight end, could be a tight end and a wing, could be a just a tackle depending on what set we're in, are going to gap protect. So they're going to protect inside gap, work back to outside gap. OK, if we call nothing, the ball is going to our quarterback. So I've drawn this off of a, a jet motion look. We don't have to do that. We could be in a two back look. We could be doing a lot of different things. If we say just the play call, which for us is quick belly, the quarterback is going to run the ball behind the running back. Receivers for us, the ball is coming to their side. So we have general rules. We work with them. You could pair this easily uh, with a screen if you wanted to. All right, so here's the base play uh, with the jet motion look. Kind of roll through this pretty quickly, maybe. So let's look at the front first. So we have a three and a five right here. So our guard will block out on the three. Our tackle will block out on the five. Our center, there's on, so he's going to go back to that nose. Our guard will wrap. This ball should hit a gap if done correctly. 55 should wrap, probably should be blocking the backside linebacker. Number one will insert first color that shows up, and we should gap protect on the backside. So uh, let me see if I can draw that. So we should be blocking out, blocking out, blocking back, wrapping probably to backside linebacker, inserting to play side linebacker, and then we're going to gap protect across the board. I believe with this one, we're going to fake the jet sweep. The quarterback will slide step and hit it downhill. Okay. 
we'll let it run here. So we're gonna get the jet look. Quarterback is gonna fake and hit it downhill. There it goes, went A gap. Would have liked to see him 55 stay on his track a little more right here. I'm just gonna let it loop. Would like him to stay on his track. Uh, he ends up chasing that linebacker because they overflow to the jet motion. Uh, we still get seven, eight yards out of it. The safety has to come make the tackle. So for us, you know, it's still a good play for us, but we stay on our path right there. We probably pick up that safety with our guard and, and even a more explosive play. As you can see, we kind of prefer to pair this with our jet sweep just to give the flow of the defense going that direction. All right, here's another angle. Uh, same defense, same look. Okay, do a better job at guard of staying on our path on that one. So we get about nine, 10 yards there. Gap protect backside. Would like to see our guard a little quicker through the hole, but does a good job wrapping through the hole. Back does a good job inserting for play side backer. And you can see pretty simple deal there for us. Uh, easy, simple rules. Uh, again, like to pair it with our jet motion simply because you get the flow of the defense. So that jet motion, notice we're not faking the ball. Uh, the running back is selling fake. Or the wing back is quarterback is immediately tucking the ball and then hitting downhill for us. That would be just our motion call with quick belly as the play. All right here it is this year. I, I think we're going to run it off a different looking motion. So kind of an orbit motion, but it's the same look different front. So let's talk about the blocking rules and how that ought to look. Okay. So with this look, we're going to go here. Our guard ought to go here. Our center could either, either double, or if he gets a back call, could go back. We're going to gap protect, gap protect right here. Okay, our running back will insert for whatever shows up. And then our wrapping guard is kind of given away by alignment. We'd like him not to do that. Is going to probably clean up backside linebacker if our rules all hit how we expect them to hit. Okay. Let's see. So we do a little orbit motion on this. Follow our general rules. Guard actually blocks out. Looks like this, it looks like the nose must have been slanting across the center's face. So let me kind of pause it here. So what I'm saying is this nose is probably slanting across our center's face. So we end up kind of moving here. I would like to see our young tackle here get a fan call or something. So our guard blocks out, so our tackle could have blocked out also. Didn't need to, the orbit motion kind of held him, but would have probably been the correct way to do that. You see our center does a good job just taking the nose where he wants to go. The ball is going to hit a gap right there. Ball hits a gap. So we've had a couple different ones that have hit a gap. Could also hit b gap. You're going to see on some of the other film, it hits a little wider. All right, so again, we're going to run this with a, another type of motion. The rules should be the same. So we ought to be basing out. We ought to be working here. Right here should be our double team. Gap protect, gap protect. I believe we do some kind of like motion or whatever to pull the safety out of the box. But we're going to get an insert, whatever shows up, and an insert, whatever shows up there. Pretty simple rules. Pretty simple play. Of course, we're running our quarterback on this. Got a couple other flavors where we, we won't do that. Let me erase that ink. You get to motion. Nice job by the guard and the running back to insert and just easy play. Run the ball to the uncovered gap. So we're not going A gap on this one. You can see this is going to hit B gap. You can look at how we've kind of widened our splits too. Give yourself a little advantage. You're going to take the ball through the B gap. Again, just a quick, easy motion for us to pull the safety. Run the ball where they're not. It's kind of the idea of this play. We're not looking for just blowing guys up and moving them down the field. We're simply looking for what we call horizontal movement or moving guys wide. So you'll see a lot of our blocks, you know, almost is going to gap, protect, step, and invite the guy upfield. Like we're okay, they're not trying to drive guys down the field. Just step up, let them come upfield, and hit where they left. All right. So there's a lot of flavors of this, a lot of flavors of this. So you can run off the motion, which I've been showing. Could go orbit motion, motion faking the jet, motion faking the sprint out game. Lots of ways to kind of flavor this up, but the play never changes, you know, for our players. We could decide that hey, we want to run this with our running back. So we call that same, like on the same side. I'll show you a clip of that here at the end. We could run that with a two back look, 
run our, our wing back in the backfield, a two back look, and hand the ball off to the, the wing back. We could run this with trips, where we put trips out wide just to flex the defense and then run it with no motion. So there's lots of ways you can do this, which is called flavors of quick belly. Again, this basically is a two for one kind of deal for us because we run the same blocking scheme, but now I can give the ball to our wing back if we want to get into what we call our Mustang package, or that's for, for us, our two back look. So maybe you don't want to run the ball to your quarterback, run to a running back, or teams are just shifting heavily over to the tight end wing side. You're going to go two back and attack them on the backside gap. So here's kind of an example that we're actually in a two tight end look here, but our, you'll see our motion with our wing back back to the backfield. And then we're going to follow our rules. So our rules don't change. So now we have a tight end, but it's just he's going to base out. Okay, Our tackle is supposed to have number two. There's not a number two. So he's actually going to go on to the second level. We ought to be going here. We ought to be going here. Gap protect, gap protect. We're now going to insert with our running back. Okay. We're going to wrap our guard. So you can see we're getting a bunch of guys through the hole. And now our wing back is going to run the ball there. So we've added an extra player to block. And now we are able to run the ball with not our uh, quarterback. Same play, just kind of shift quickly to it. Evans is overloaded back to the other side. And you can see all the movement. A lot of guys getting to the second level. You know, a lot of movement there. Uh, kudos to our offensive line. You know, but you can see the numbers game we've played here. So you look at them on numbers. They have one defensive lineman, a stand-up outside backer, and a play-side linebacker, and we have one, two, three, four, five guys that are going to wrap play-side or are on the play-side before the ball is snapped. So, again, huge advantage for our guys just by numbers. You can see snap the ball, a little bit of movement. They were obviously anticipating us to run to the strong side, uh, but able to take advantage of that. Big gain to the quick side. Same drive. Again, you can see what I'm talking about, this hole by bringing in that tight end. It's just really tough to fit all those gaps. Really tough to fill those gaps. So you end up getting almost a walk-in touchdown just because they're massively outnumbered, you know, back to the quick side. Just hand the ball off and hit it downhill back to the quick side. Rules don't change. You notice this one because the double team is here, ends up hitting B gap. So we've hit one A gap, hit one B gap, it can hit C gap, depending on the front also, okay? So here's without a tight end. So kind of going through the rules. So our center is going to be on backside. Let me find my center here. Center's on backside. He's going to end up probably blocking back, if I was guessing. We're going to gap protect. We're going to gap protect. Probably going down to the whatever that is, basing out. We're going to wrap our guard to whatever show, which ends up being the play side linebacker. Our running back is going to handle the backside linebacker. We're going to hand the ball off to our B uh, for a good little game for us there. So plays don't change for us. The blocking doesn't change for us. We're just in a different formation. Okay, and going to hand the ball off to our wing back. You can kind of see just downhill, easy play for us. Go make a play. So this is just quick belly for us out of a two-back look, not a tight end here. Defense is cl clearly kind of shifted to the strong side, trying to take away. We run a lot of buck sweep and a lot of things that direction, so trying to take that away. And now we're able to get downhill and, uh, and make a big play for us. All right, here's the end zone clip of it. So pretty good little showing. You can see they've, to me, I think they kind of misaligned a little bit here, but with our rules, it doesn't really matter. So again, let's just go. We're going to base out here. Okay, we're going to go down here, back here, gap protect, gap protect. Our guard is going to handle play side backer. Our insert is going to handle backside backer. And our running back is going to hit the ball downhill. So pretty simple, easy play for us. Nice big hole, this is the B gap, a lot of room to run. A lot of room to run again. Not worried about vertical push. Notice these blocks are almost sideways or almost a base out block of 71 here. You can see on the D end, 
step up field, blow him out. Okay. And a good play by our running backs. All right, here it is with the quarterback. So this is going to be quarterback, quick belly. So we're going to just run it with him. No motion. So no motion. Just snap it. Get downhill. 34 decided he wanted to be a part of the action, which is fine with us. He kind of slides through. We really don't normally design that to be that way. We're basically trying to insert number two. Wrap 54 gets a little wide. 54 does. And then we're just trying to get four or five yards out of this. If a team has completely overloaded like this team has to stop Buck or they're in man-to-man -man coverage, you can see once you pop through, a lot of room there for, for a big quarterback to rumble through. So big play for us. Uh, you know, I think that actually tied the game for us in the fourth quarter there. So big play for our guys. Easy, simple concept. That's just quarterback run, no two back, right? Here it is again with two back. So you can see it a two back. Again, following the rules. Now, this is a different look. So here we go. We ought to get double here. Here, doubling back to whatever shows up. We'll gap protect. We'll gap protect. Take this guy wherever he wants to go. Okay. We ought to insert for the mic. And we ought to come out here to whatever shows up. I feel like this team, this player fit the wrong direction, which helped us. Uh, but, again, our base rule, we ought to have them all blocked you can see two back downhill our back actually goes outside because that's where the linebacker showed up which is fine with us we've got the wrap on the mic here's his back here's who he's blocking just go take him there's wrapping guard on the mic free safety has come to tackle for a gain of about six we're okay with that Double team did not quite get to backside linebacker. Didn't matter if we hit it quick enough. But that's what we would like to. So what I'm talking about that is uh, these two should have handled whatever shows up over here. He ends up going out, which is fine. That's who he's blocking. And we're going to wrap for the mic right there. And that ball ends up hitting. Thought he probably could have hit it up inside a little more. Ended up hitting about C gap. All right, you can see here again, let's kind of go through the rules. We're going to base out. Look at the splits, by the way, if you notice there, kind of using our splits to help us. We're going to get a double team here to backside. We're going to wrap to whatever shows up. We're going to lead to whatever shows up. Got protect backside. And that big fullback's going to get the ball. Should hit in this giant gap right there. And the idea again, can we create space by alignment? run the ball where they're not, and just move guys horizontally, and we can run this play on anybody. You can see, once he gets through, there's not a lot of guys there to tackle him. Safety comes across, cleans him up there after a gain of about 10 or 15 yards, it looks like. So downhill, take what's there. Again, these blocks don't have to be kill shots. Watch 62, just make him go outside, and we were okay. Attack the upfield shoulder, make him go outside. All right, so no motion. I kind of talked about it. No motion with the quarterback. Okay, so we're just in a uh, flop set for us. No motion with the quarterback. Take it, hit it downhill, and get what's there. And these are easy, simple plays. We're not messing with our blocking scheme, not having to adjust things. Catch the ball, hit downhill. Catch the ball, hit downhill. Easy plays. All right, can do the same side with our F. So like right here, we have trips. I know you can't see them all, so I'll kind of, there are three players over here. Okay, they have moved this apex linebacker out of the box. He was here and he moved here. And now they've got basically kind of four over three almost. They obviously are worried about us running buck sweep this way. So now we're going to come back and try to take advantage by running for us belly. So we're going to base out. Go down on the A-gap player back right here. Wrap to the only player that could tackle us, which is that guy. Gap protect, gap protect. And the RPO read is this player. If he's in the box, throw the bubble. If he's out here, hand the ball off. Pretty easy play for our quarterback. So he stays out of the box. We know we're going to hand it. 
and then we're downhill, same side. Boom. Easy play. Good running back. Makes you look really good as a coach, but design of the play got him four or five yards. Of course, he did the rest of it untouched from about 25 yards out. Easy blocks for us. Hit downhill. Get after it. That apex guy comes in. Throw the ball. Obviously, if your quarterback can run it, you can even insert the back. Quarterback's not as much a runner, but a better thrower, then you can do it like this. So either way is fine with us. So pretty simple concept. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. Again, that's my contact information if you've got questions about it after you've watched it.